Alright, Deku Tree is about to tell me one of the most boring stories of the game. Which I wish I could skip, but, um, like that. Unfortunately, still have to really listen to it. But, in the early days of playing this game, it, this actually would be an enjoyable thing to watch, because, um, you got a really good uh, mixture of story, along with um, really interesting music. That sort of really got me into this game a whole lot more. Speaking of which, I should really explain um, my early history of playing Ocarina of Time. I essentially first got it for Christmas in 1999. I played it for a, an extremely short time. There was already a file that had um, the game nearly completed. In other words, all the spiritual stones, medallions, sages were unlocked, and all that was left was to um, destroy um, Ganon's tower and then get up to beat up Ganon, Dorf. I didn't really understand what was going on and everything for that, so I started a new file, and I was still confused about what was going on at the start of it. But I essentially beat the uh, one file that had the near completion to it. So it's like I sort of beat the game way ahead of its time before going from start to finish later on. I know that's a very weird story, but it's true. That's how I really got into this kind of game. But the more I got into um, the music and the gameplay for all this, it just gave me a, a much bigger appreciation for the Zelda series in general. Now, I don't really own every single Zelda game or have even played every single one, because um, there are certain games in the series that I just don't have that much interest in for their um, like story or even puzzles. I, I tend to keep my um, interests for the amount of games there are to a low to medium interest so that I don't get overwhelmed with um, way too many of uh, one... Um, I kind of lost focus there for a moment. But I bet you get my drift anyway. Oh yeah, this version, the Deku Tree will tell you, if you lose your way, seek a Sheikah Stone. <laughs> yeah, Sheikah Stone actually appeared near um, Link's treehouse. But I essentially won't be really needing to use that since I already know where to go for a lot of these kinds of things. Yeah, you see how Mido just disappears like that, then just reappears like that? I, I I just don't understand the programming for this kind of game. When it has to work like that. <laughs> but, um... I guess it's there for just pure comedy. But let's not worry about it too much and... Get on out to the castle. As for how this guy knows when to get out of the way, I still have no idea to this day. <laughs> And yep, Soria here is about to give me one of the most useful items of the game. But the way it's button handling works in this version, 
sort of makes me cringe a bit, but um, at least it still um, sounds the same way. We'll be using it a little bit later on for a certain song and even a certain few other songs. Infamous Kabora Gabora gets in my way. Gotta make sure that I select the second option, otherwise, I'd have to listen to what he has to say again. <laughs> he is considered one of the most annoying characters of the series, but um, he'll be essentially useful to beginners who have really no idea what is highly expected of them to proceed with the rest of the adventure. And oh yes, I am trying to hurry to the castle because I have to get there before it's um, sunset. <laughs> Otherwise that bridge will go up and I'd have to wait till the next morning to, e to even get up there. One cool thing I will be doing though before getting up there is, or before getting in, is this. Just go up to the top of these chains here and get a 20 rupees and glitch through the ground. I'm gonna go in here for a quick gold sculptula. No, yeah, I wonder if this guy still says this one kind of thing. Breaking some jars. Stand near a jar and press A to lift it. Press A again to toss it. You know, sir, I prefer to do this. Don't you think that's a lot better than just picking them up and tossing them? Seriously, don't you? Alright, you got enough money for some things later on. Not really gonna have to go through the market a lot, but gotta go through here once and then. You know what, let's get, uh, trigger Kabora Gabora's cutscene really quick. And yeah, he has his head upside down, if you couldn't tell. Uh, you gotta make a quick exit, and then we'll be on our way. Yep, there's the sound we wanted to hear. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to her one more time. <laughs> to get this one time use item, and it's essential to put it in that button right there. And yeah, I really like how they fixed the vine for this version. They just made it a straight up ladder. If you if you notice how it looked in the um, old game, it looked very um, zigzaggy, but it was still sort of a straight line. But its design just looked zigzaggy. Hey, can I make it to Malin's dad before the crack of dawn? We'll see. But I wanted to get in this moat anyway, because i got some monies to collect. After all, who doesn't like that kind of stuff when they have to? 
get some things later on. And the cuckoo hatch just in time. Well, just woke up the guy who is many called the Mario of this game. Looks somewhat like him. If Mario ever runs like that, I'd be really happy to see that kind of animation, but I don't think he does as much. I think he does make uh, some weird runs in Mario 64, but I don't know what else there would be. Gotta put all these crates in place just to enter that, like, secret area of the castle. Can't get through the, uh, main entrance where the... ...main doors are. So, gotta go this way instead. Ooh, tell you what, I almost missed the ledge. I could've, um, came up just short of it. Yep, the infamous castle courtyard. Let's see if I can hurry. Alrighty, just got through him fine. Well, I'm not going to be able to get around this guy. Let's try this way. Hmm, maybe they'll um, meet up and kiss each other. Uh, nope, he's going to stop right there. He better go up, though. And, yep, they just kissed each other for a quick moment right there. This is the way I like to go up. But still gotta, still gotta be really careful. Oh, dang it! I mean, the death perspective of that can be very tricky. Well, gotta try this again. At least I don't lose any hearts. But I lose a little bit of time there. Alright, if I get caught again on accident, I'll just cut ahead. Alright, let's see if I can outrun that guy again. <laughs> this time he moved a little bit late. Uh, well, this is going to be quite a wait. Like, hurry up, you fool. Dang it! I actually thought he wasn't looking right there. Alrighty. I'll cut ahead. Alrighty, I ain't gonna fool around this time. I just gotta go up here again and just take it easy. But it's really hard to really see myself if I'm staying straight or just slanting off a bit. I usually don't have much problem with this, but I guess since I'm using a circle pad instead of a control stick, the movements can be can feel very finicky. Well, at least that guy ain't stopping in the middle. Okay, he needs to hurry before that one guard up there moves. And we made it just fine. Oh, yeah, uh, that guy right there is in the way. Hey, they're about to kiss each other. And they do it again. How stupid are they? They really don't know how to separate themselves. Seriously, look at that. <laughs> but I don't want to be too close. Uh, like, that guy needs to hurry up. It, it, He's still standing at the midway point. It's don't think it's that safe to move. Okay, now we should be good. <laughs> Gosh. Went through an area in which I usually don't have much trouble going through. But whatever. Anyways, one thing I want to look at over here is in the N64 version, you may notice that there is like an Easter egg of like the Mario 64 promo picture and even some other characters for it. That one over there looks sort of like um, the layout of Super Mario 3D Land. But this game came out before Mario 3D Land, so... 
I, I don't know what to say. It was still in the planning process, maybe, but time to talk to the Princess of Destiny. How'd you get past the guards? <laughs> I don't have it, actually. Huh? Well, that's odd. I thought you might be the one for my dream. You really don't have it? Tell me the truth. Uh, yes. <laughs> I decided to just be a little, um... interesting and choose the somewhat less reliable option. <laughs> Please keep this a secret from everyone? No. Come on, don't be a blabbermouth. Fine. I'll listen to your boring story again. So, yep, we get this sort of cutscene again, <laughs> explaining everything here. But I ain't gonna say uh, no to this next thing she says, because <laughs> she would just repeat <laughs> what she essentially said. However, one more time here. No. Please, if you don't hurry, he'll be gone. <laughs> Princess, I already know who he is, so I don't need to look at him. <laughs> And yeah, the camera zooms in on Ganondorf this time, which is weird, but I guess they really wanted to put a huge emphasis on him this time. Because he probably was an afterthought in the early parts of the game in the old versions. I don't believe ya. Please believe me, my prophecies have never been wrong. Fine. <laughs> Alrighty, the letter. So the cuckoo is replaced with the uh, letter. Yep, this would be Impa. The way Impa looks in this game, I kept thinking, is this really who Impa is? I, I didn't even know Impa was... Um, I don't know, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and play the song. Normally, the song would be played... Um, in like the style of YXA, but instead we gotta play it in the style of moving in the shape of a, uh, what's it called? A greater than sign. Yeah, go ahead and lead me out of the castle. I need it. Oh yeah, there was another thing I was going to mention about Impa. The way she looks in the game Hyrule Warriors, I would say looks a lot better than how she does in this version. And especially since she has a lot more action to her name. 
There's a couple other um, ocarina songs to learn before going up Death Mountain. And one of them is this way. Good old Lon Lon Ranch. Gotta talk to you at least a couple times before I can pull out the ocarina. And yet the horse Epona. I'm not sure why Epona can't even be used as a uh, a horse. And come on, you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for that to uh, come up. And yeah, this song sort of feels like playing the Ocarina song. Or should I say, Zelda's Lullaby backwards. I'll see you when I grow up. Is that alright with you, Malin? I'll bet it is. Same for you, Epona. Okay. One other song has to be learned as well. It's all the way back in the forest. Can't believe I took a huge backtrack like that just to even get through. I ain't worried about the P-Hat. Its mower blades are not that intimidating. Wonder if I could still make it in before the music fades out. <laughs> 